just check in. Wicomico County Public Schools, are you ready for school? <laughs> we are rocking and rolling, and to get the show on the road, I'm bringing up my, my buddy over here, Dustin Thomas, who is over here on the turntables. Give him a round of applause. He is coming to join me. And as Dustin Thomas and I stand here, we can see and also feel your excitement about the new school year. And we want to keep you focused on that excitement, but this is a mandatory meeting. So as a result, it's only appropriate to start off with roll call. I'll start with last names first. Um, Deb Alder. <laughs> Take the 
to the West Side, West Salisbury School. All right, where's Delmar? What about them Clippers from JMB? There are others here with us on this morning who do so much to support our school, so I'd like to call on them as well. Please make your presence known if you're with Central Office. If you're from the Board of Education. <laughs> We're also grateful to have our community partners they support our comical schools and we're so appreciative of them. So please stand to be recognized by our staff. Let's hear for our com community partners. Pandas in the house, Pemberton. System. All of us are on one team. So Wicomico County Public Schools, can we stand and make some noise and make some excitement for all of us? Let's hear it. Wicomico County Public Schools. checked in and we're ready to go let's get this staff kickoff celebration underway would you all please rise for the presentation of the colors by the Wicomico High School JROTC and we ask that you remain standing for the national anthem performed by the James and Bennett High School marching band and for the Pledge of Allegiance which will be led by the SGA presidents from our four high schools to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great big round of applause. And you can be seated. Many thanks to the Wicomico High School JROTC the James and Bennett Marching Band, and the four SGA leaders. Thank you, Sienna Williams, Minal Kwaja, Caitlin Greger, and Cedric Jung. Also, a special thanks to Mr. Thomas for partnering with me on the program. I now invite to the microphone a leader who has supported the students, families, and staff of Wicomico County Public Schools. He has supported us since he first joined the Board of Education in 2016. He has been a tireless advocate and 
is responsible for doing what is right. He stands by that. So please welcome our Board of Education Chairman, Mr. Gene Malone, for remarks. Do you remember? It might have been a bad decision, but it was spur of the moment. <laughs> okay, this is wonderful. Oh my goodness, I've never seen so many people in this arena in a long time. Last time we did this was 2019, which was before the, you know what, we don't say that word anymore. So good morning, everyone. Like you, I'm extremely glad to be here today as we prepare to kick off another incredible school year for Wicomico County Public Schools. I'm Gene Malone, Chairman of the Board of Education, and I'm up here representing all the members of the board. Also here to enjoy this kickoff today are all of the other members of the Board of Education. I'd like for them to stand up and take a bow as well. Vice Chairman Alan Brown. <laughs> Follows instructions well. And board members, Dr. Bonnie Ennis. <laughs> Susan Beecham. David Plotz, Kristen Hazel, another one, and John Palmer. Thank you for everything you will do in your classrooms and offices and buildings and buses every day to support students, build strong relationships with families, and create a great future for our community. The importance of the work you do for Wicomico County Public Schools cannot be overstated. We're very grateful for your dedication. The young people you will serve in 23 to 24 school year are students now, but they are also future employees, business owners, inventors, investors, public servants, elected officials, leaders, and parents who will help create a successful future for all of us. You have the opportunity to guide them in their journey to reach their own potential. What an honor, but great responsibility that is. To everyone in the Wicomico County Public Schools team, teachers, instructional assistants, school administrators, custodians, secretaries, food service workers, nurses, bus drivers, contractors, counselors, central office staff and student and family services, instruction and business and operations, community partners, and more. Thank you for giving your time and talents to help our students grow and learn and succeed. On behalf of the Board of Education, thank you for everything you do for the students and families of Wicomico County Public Schools. Every new school year is an opportunity for a fresh start for everyone involved, and that's exciting. I love quotes, and here are a couple on the importance of fresh starts. J.P. Morgan said, For the first step toward getting somewhere is to decide you're not going to stay where you are. And Alan Cohen said, Do not wait for the conditions to be perfect to begin. Beginning makes the conditions perfect. Looks like this team is ready to begin. Let's have a fantastic school year, and thanks you again for what you do for our students every single day. Thank you. And let's give a round of applause for Mr. Malone's dance moves. The dance moves. They should get a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Malone. Wicomico County Public Schools highly values its many community partners and supporters. Their commitment to Wicomico Schools has positive effects each and every day for students, families, and staff. One of the outstanding partners that is here with us today is the Wicomico County Education Foundation. Since being established by the Greater Salisbury Committee and Salisbury Area Chamber of Commerce, the Education Foundation has looked for ways to give back. A few examples include assisting pre-kindergarten students with select technologies, funding extracurricular experience for some middle school students, and providing pr prizes for the Teacher of the Year recognition program. These examples merely scratch the surface, as you will learn today. Ms. Michelle Wright joins us today as the chair of the Education Foundation. 
She is a business owner who was previously a Board of Education member and president. She is also a tireless school advocate and a parent of Wicomico students who have now graduated. Let's welcome at this time, Ms. Wright. Get your dance moves ready. <laughs> oh, good morning, everyone. It's been a long time since I've stood in a crowd like this, but I'm so happy to be here with you this morning. Um, the Wacomka County Education Foundation was formed, as you heard a few minutes ago, in 2018 with the joint effort of the Greater Salisbury Committee and the Salisbury Area Chamber of Commerce. Our mission is to advocate and promote excellence and opportunity for all students through active partnerships in the community and to provide additional funding for programs and initiatives not included in the school budget. As you just heard, our first initiative was to raise money for technology for the pre-K program. We set a goal of $35,000. We reached $42,000 in pledges. We also received two grants from PNC and the Author W. Purdue Foundation, and the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore gave $35,000 in matching funds. So we raised over $90,000 to provide technology for the pre-K program, and we are very proud of that. Since 2019, we have sponsored many initiatives such as the Teacher of the Year and Opportunity Projects, Back to school backpack projects, winter coat drives, and we also provided funding a few years ago for the motivational speaker here at your event. Since January of this year, we've been meeting with Dr. Stauffer to determine what initiatives he had in mind to be, after becoming our new superintendent. Our foundation is very, very excited to partner with your school system. The first initiative that we've um, funded, and you're going to see the results of that funding today is the rebranding and promotion of the Wicomico County Public Schools. We provided the funds to create the new logo, new tagline, some website um, maintenance, and also we're going to help with some advertising and promotion of your schools. The second initiative that is also very exciting is that we're funding money to cover the cost of equipment and coaches' salaries for middle school sports. This year, there will be boys and girls soccer, cross country, track and field, flag football, volleyball, and boys and girls basketball. I think you would agree, and we are all hopeful, that getting middle school students engaged in sports will have a positive impact. We are hopeful that it will give them a new purpose get them motivated and involved while reducing school discipline and referrals, and improve their grades. So enough about the foundation. On behalf of the board members, we wish you the very best year ever. We know that we live in very difficult times, but I know many of you personally. I know that you give with your whole heart. I know that you just want to make a positive impact on children. I know that each day is different, and it can be stressful, but I believe in you, and I trust that you will give your all every day, no matter the circumstances. So I say thank you for dedicating your time, your energy, and your love to our young people. So my last few words is, go back to your schools and just be you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Wright. We appreciate it and all that the foundation is doing for our school system. We recognize that we don't teach test scores and children are, are more than a, a grade, they are more than a test score, an indicator. We teach the entire child. We make a difference in the entirety of that child and we look out for that child's mental state. We help them with any resources that we have available. And with nearly 15,000 students and more than 3,200 staff members, 
Wicomico County Public School is an organization that has a huge impact on the community. And with us this morning is another organization that also has a broad and positive impact on the community. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Pam Gregory, the President and CEO of the United Way of the Lower Eastern Shore, as she shares how we as a school system can use our influence to change lives through the United Way's annual workplace campaign. Ms. Gregory. I can do that little dance with my new hip, it's awesome, but I can't do it long, but it's all good. And I told Paul Butler when he asked me and told me what the lineup is that I was going to get to speak after one of my most dearest friends, Michelle, that that was a hard act to follow, and clearly that is correct. So I want to say good morning to everyone. Thank you so much for all you do for our children um, through your work every day, through your involvement in our community. Um, and also through your partnership with United Way. So I've got a few quick comments for us this morning. Dr. Stauffer and your entire team, Board of Ed, um, thank you again for having us here with you and for your unwavering support to our partnership uh, for so many years. I want to give a couple quick personal shout outs. Uh, Jesse Reed and his team are amazing uh, every year at helping to make sure that all the I's are dotted and T's are crossed uh, for the, the annual campaign and Beth Scheller and all of the champions at each of the schools and departments. Thank you so much for helping to lead the charge every year. You guys are amazing. And last year, you all raised over $42,000 for our children. And I want to remind you that all of those dollars stay local. And thank you for welcoming, welcoming us into your schools every year to support our children through really great United Way initiatives uh, and partnerships with you, such as Read Across America. I had the most fun. If, if anybody knows me, they know the two things I love are children and books, and you'll hear more about that in a minute. minute. And my girls are grown, so the chance to come in and, uh, and share both of those passions uh, during that, that fun week is really, really special. We have Read to Succeed, Girls on the Run, and we also get invited in to participate in some of your back to school events and other events during the year with family engagement. Please keep that coming. We love doing that. We love bringing volunteers into your schools, supporting your work, and making sure that we're able to lift up those children where needed. So there's a really uh, some great milestones and some great achievements um, that your support of United Way, whether it's financial, volunteer, advocacy, it really helps us all achieve more together. And so I want to give you just a few quick examples. But thanks to you, our collaborators, our 36 nonprofit partners that we provide funding and other resources to, we impact more than one in three neighbors across the Lower Shore. One in three. There are 3,000 people in this room. 1,000 of us have been impacted already by a United Way program or service. That's incredible. <laughs> programs such as after school and summer programs and adult learning, social services, providing healthy food access, rent, utility assistance to keep people in their homes, hospice and palliative care, which is so critical for families in need, senior care such as Meals on Wheels, for hundreds and hundreds of seniors across the Lower Shore, Alzheimer's care, and even as important, the caregiver supports that the caregivers need for taking care of families. Safety and security for homes, helping people get in and out and stay in their homes safely, and paths to home ownership. And also equitable access to mental and physical health care for people of all ages and backgrounds, which as we know is more critical than ever. So thank you for helping us be able to do that together in this community. We also achieved several milestones for our key program, Imagination Library, which you all know is my favorite thing. So anybody here not heard of Imagination Library, please don't raise your hand, because I don't want to believe that's true. So several milestones just this year alone. We have achieved now over 5,000 children each month being served with free books delivered to their home every month. Yes. Over half of those are here in Wicomico County. 
We've achieved over 400,000 books as of this month delivered since this pro program started 11 years ago. 400,000, which is awesome. Almost 15,000 children served so far to date. And our biggest achievement is that a few months ago in early spring, we launched Smart Start in partnership with Title Health and thanks to some very generous foundation donors and every single one of you. Now every child born at Title Health receives a welcome pack just like this with their very first book available in three languages, English, Sp Spanish, or Haitian Creole, along with um, welcome information about local resources, how and the importance of engaging with your baby from birth in reading and books, and helping them make an automatic enrollment in the program before they leave the hospital. So that's awesome. Now we're gonna reach every child exactly when we should. And what's super cool is that this month we have surpassed 400 children already enrolled as newborns through the program. So that's super exciting. What that means is that they'll maximize their time. They can be in it up to five years until they come to you for kindergarten. And we have the data showing that those children will be more ready to learn when they come to you. So hopefully, more and more children will be at that point. So thank you for making that happen. And together we can do more with your help. Your campaign's kicking off. Any amount makes a huge difference. For instance, uh, for a payroll deduction, you all do an 18 pay period. $2 a pay for 18 pay periods is a year of books, 12 brand new books for a child in Imagination Library. You can contact Beth or your local uh, school or department champion for more information, and you'll see information come out about that throughout the next couple weeks. Please follow us online at UWLES and on social media for updates and other ways to get involved. Please reach out any time with questions on where your dollars go, the impact you make, or any questions about our direct or partner programs. And thank you again so, so much for everything that you do to strengthen all the families here in Wicomico County. We appreciate you. We are in awe of everything that you do to make our future leaders successful. And thank you, and I hope you have a really, really fun year. Take care. Fly in the sky, I can go twice as high. Take a look, it's in a book, a reading rainbow. He always knows what song to play, doesn't he? <laughs> Thank you so much, Miss Gregory, for all that you do. And um, we want to get behind a united way and set records like we've never done before. The next member of our community partnership comes with very exciting news, especially for one special member of our audience. The Hertrick family of automobile dealerships is a generous supporter of county teachers on the Eastern Shore including our Wicomico Teacher of the Year, the outstanding Tara Martens of West Salisbury <laughs> Elementary. <laughs> At this time, we ask that you give a warm round of applause and appreciation for the processional led by Mr. Steve Ball, the general manager of Hertrick Chevrolet and the mes mascot for West Side and let's get this party started. Here we go. Put your hands together for that drum.
On behalf of Hertrick and Mr. Steve Ball, we are so excited to hand this beautiful vehicle over to Aaron Deal. Oh, I'm sorry. I got, I got carried away. <laughs> This vehicle will go to Tara Martens as she has the responsibility of traveling around the state of Maryland um, to many meetings at the Board of Education. She is an advocate, she is a voice, she represents us. She will be at the various schools and she will be extremely busy this year. And we are so grateful that she will be able to ride in style as she represents Wicomico County Public School as a result of the generous donation that has come from the Hertrick dealership. Thank you so much, Mr. Ball. Can we give him a big round of applause? <laughs> and Tara, congratulations. Now it is time to hear from our leader, the superintendent of schools. He carries a wealth of experiences in Wicomico County Public Schools, first as a student at Beaver Run Elementary, Wicomico Junior and Wicomico High, <laughs> then as a substitute teacher, a science teacher, assistant principal, principal, director of secondary education, assistant superintendent for business and operations, and now superintendent of schools. Oh, and by the way, he is also a parent of a child in our school system. <laughs> since, beginning, since becoming superintendent in July 2022, he has spent many hours listening. He has listened to students, teachers, those of us that support our teachers. He has also listened to parents and community members he has used this information to brainstorm with his team the best ways to make Wicomico schools even better. I want to say from my heart, I've watched this gentleman rise. He has never changed. He is a giant with humility that believes in connecting with the average person and doing all he can to make things better for our world. I would ask that you join me in a warm round of applause for our superintendent of schools, Dr. Micah Stauffer. My music style is a little bit different. Good morning, Wicomico County Public Schools, and welcome to a new school year. It's wonderful to see all of us gather together as an entire staff for the first time in four years. And today is going to be an extraordinary day as we hear from our inspirational keynote speaker in just a moment. Our Board of Education and our school system have also been busy in this last year doing our best to spend time hearing from all of you and our community so that we can approach this school year with a clear focus on five very important priority areas. School climate and safety, student achievement, having a high performing workforce, parent and community involvement, and additional opportunities to engage students each day. You will hear and see more about each of these areas as we move forward this year because it's important that we do the work. And it's more important that we do it together. Everything that we should do should be focused on these priorities to improve what we do so our students reach the highest levels of success. Next week, members of the class of 2024 will begin their last school year with us. And it was wonderful to have our SGA presidents here today. And we need to make sure that every single senior finishes out the year ready and prepared to take that next step. Next week will also be the very first school experience for hundreds of our students in pre-K or the class of 2037. 
From our oldest learners to our youngest learners, we have the job together to make every single school day count for every single student. Whatever role we play in the school system, we all have to make sure we're doing the best each day for our students. They are learning today so that they can lead tomorrow. Since becoming your superintendent, I have worked to listen and gain insight from all of you. I've heard from students, parents, teachers, administrators, and supervisors, instructional assistants, secretaries, food service workers, custodians, our elected officials, business owners, and so many others. And that listening will continue. I can promise you that. But one thing I've learned quickly is that we have wonderful stories to tell about Wicomico County Public Schools, but we need to do a better job of telling them. We need to make sure that we ourselves know and that our community knows about the great things happening across our school system each and every day. Our graduates have excellent opportunities, and once they leave us all over Wicomico County, the Eastern Shore, Maryland, and beyond, those who learned with us are now going to be leading us in the future. We will be working to share their stories with pride to inspire today's students and all of us who support them each and every day. We also want to make sure we have the best tools for telling Wicomico County Public Schools' story, and that meant embarking on a long overdue branding process. We thank the Wicomico County Education Foundation and its members for supporting us in making today possible and believing in the importance of our team developing a new brand image for Wicomico County Public Schools and providing funding to create a new tagline and logo, which you all will be the very first to see today. This was a collaborative process with our school system staff and our community. We had multiple community conversations and an online survey. Nearly 1,400 people with multiple languages represented picked their favorite. And the new tagline that best represents what we do in Wicomico County Public Schools is learning today, leading tomorrow. This reflects what we want to have happen for our students, but it also reflects what we should be doing as staff members. We're all leaders. We all have an impact on others. Each of us should be learning and growing and becoming leaders in the work that we do. This phrase also represents the importance of what we as a school system do for our community. Those who are learning in our schools today as students are being prepared to lead in our community in the years to come. And along with the new tagline comes a new logo. Everyone is familiar with the one that we've had the past 13 years. But starting today, you're going to see less and less of it as we move towards switching to a new logo over the course of this next year. The transition won't be instant because it's gonna take time for us to use up all of the materials from the business ca uh, cards to the car rider hang tags, but we will start to new use the Wicomico County Public Schools brand images today, wherever we can, especially online. We will soon have an online store where you'll be able to order shirts and other t items with the new look, including our bright, distinctive new W. This W is part of the full logo, it will eventually be used on signs and other areas to represent Wicomico County Public Schools. And now I'm excited to reveal to you for the very first time the new full logo for Wicomico County Public Schools. And hey, what's a reveal without a little extra excitement? We've also got t-shirts for some lucky people out there. Team, let them fly.
And thanks again to the Wacomico County Education Foundation for making our branding process and today possible. And a big thanks to absolutely everyone who stepped up to be a part of the process and provide us with your input on making that happen. It's always good to start out the year with some reflection, a lot of fun, and a bright new outlook. And I hope you experience all of that today. Thank you so much for all you do. Thank you so much for the tremendous hard work you put in each and every day for the success of our school system and most importantly, the success of our students. Please know that you are heard, you are valued, and that will never change. I am so excited about this school year and I'm proud of all of you as we work together to make this year a great year. Thank you.